Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shirnagi, Ayurveda and Medicine Doctor and also Isha Hatta Yoga Teacher. So today's our video is about if you somehow catch cold in the very beginning of winter and if you want to try certain natural ways of Ayurveda, what you can do if you figure out like you have caught early cold and it is not very severe, you just want to because anyway if cold happen you need to bear it. So, today I am going to tell the various tips and tricks what are mentioned in Ayurveda which will help you to bear cold in a better way. In this video when I am saying cold it is about common cold like which includes sneezing when we, whenever there is changing of weather. It is not some kind of severe infection but it is just like running nose, headache and we just caught cold and uh, sometimes we uh, and cold is something that we need to bear with it because actually there is no certain medicine in the whole world that can prevent cold but people are uh, taking certain medicines which just uh, for blocking nose or just uh, stop the running nose uh, which are not so good for health rather if you uh, if you take medicine in influenza or in this common cold mostly what happens it will land into chest infection because everything what is going out through uh, by your nose it will land up into your chest and then you will start coughing and uh, mucus and other problems start happening. But uh, if we start attending this common flu or common cold in the very beginning with certain Ayurveda herbs and methodologies, it will help you to bear the cold in natural way and it will get better more early as expected. Uh, most uh, oftenly people say whether you take medicine or you do not take medicine cold will take it 7 days. It is a very common saying in medical field. But in, with Ayurveda maybe it will take 3 days or 4 days because these herbs that are there, the various kind of methodologies that are there in Ayurveda that will be extremely helpful to make your cold better and it will enhance your tolerance in a big way that you go through this cold period very easily. So, what should be your schedule to tackle the cold? One thing is uh, most of the times you must have seen people say if, if you have cold especially these commercials say like TV ads, uh, if you have cold running nose you feeling uh, difficulty in work pop up this medicine and you will not feeling any headache or uh, blocked nose and you can go to your work. Uh, but Ayurveda has to say totally opposite uh, than this. According to Ayurveda if you have got common cold then it is the best time that you take rest uh, at that day you do not exert yourself too much because more you will rest during this cold uh, when you catch cold uh, body heals more naturally and more better way. So, according to Ayurveda if this cold happen take one or two day off and give your body a proper rest. Because what will happen if you start, if you keep doing your daily routine how you were doing and you are not paying at any attention to rest, what will happen the symptoms will become more and more severe because whole of the body energy is going to uh, fighting with cold so that body can recover easily. But if you have to exert in work, in exertion, in physical work, then what will happen? body will not have natural that much energy to fight against cold because your energy will become in another direction that you have to work, you have to go to uh, go in bus or in car, you drive like it is difficult. So, it is better like take 2 days off and take a proper rest. So, what is the another precaution that you need to do? Another precaution which you can take to uh, get rid of this cold that stop using uh, that stop drinking cold water. Do not take anything from refrigerator, do not drink cold water. You please uh, drink lukewarm water or warm water because this warm water has a lot of properties to flush out the toxins from the system, especially when you have, a, especially when you are having. Uh, this cold uh, that is common cold. In Ayurveda there is a lot of importance of drinking warm water especially whenever your body has some kind of infection or uh, this common cold or any kind of viral problems or any kind of throat problems like especially sore throat and these kinds of problems. So, as we know this common cold will eventually convert into uh, some throat problems because if we do not 
take take care if we do not pay attention to it, it might get converted into some throat infection. So, it is better you protect your throat by drinking warm water or lukewarm water. Please avoid cold water because it will aggravate the cold and it can cause your throat pain also because during this cold already our immunity is low and if you are keep drinking ice cold water or uh, cold water, it will impact your throat. Now what to eat? Whenever you have this kind of uh, cold, do not go for Maggi or any kind of packed food. Try to have warm home cooked meals. Uh, try to avoid all this packed or contained food like it which includes noodles or anything packed. So, try to uh, have home cooked food which include vegetables uh, because vegetables especially green leafy vegetables or uh, green leaf vegetable soup or carrot uh, soup or uh, uh, if whatever seasonal vegetable is available it is soup soup would be extremely beneficial for you if you have common cold and in this soup put a pinch of pepper and put a pinch of uh, Himalayan salt that is that pink colored salt. This pink colored salt or Himalayan salt or rock salt or sandhav lavan in Ayurveda it is called sandhav is the name for this specific salt lavan means salt. So, this salt is extremely beneficial for respiratory system and this pepper which I am telling this has also is a great tonic for your respiratory system. But make sure you need to use half teaspoon or pinch of pepper not excess pepper because if you use excess pepper it will make your digestive fire very high. So, it is very very important when you are using this pepper and or salt you use in minimum quantities whenever you have cold. So, uh, in this soup uh, you use pinch of pepper and half teaspoon of salt and eat it as a dinner because it will uh, it will be easily digestible for your body and it will also nourish all the fluid loss that is happening with cold because a lot of nasal discharge happening whenever we have common cold. So, this soup would be very beneficial for you. So, what whatever seasonal vegetable you have available in the, this season, uh, this seasonal vegetable wash it properly, peel the outer peel and then make it a soup. Uh, and in that soup put little bit of pepper and little bit of salt it would be extremely beneficial for you. So, this way it would be extremely nourishing and you will feel extremely good because these soups are extremely easy to digest because in these cold conditions whenever we have common cold and influenza our digestive fire that is metabolic fire it goes very low. So, uh, and body's capability to digest normal food is not that good. So, in that cases you try to have these soup diets because they are easy to digest and uh, it is also very nutritious. At the same time uh, try to avoid all these raw salads because this is the time when your food uh, when your digestive fire is not so good. So, try to avoid all the sprouts and uh, these raw salads it should not be so good for health. If you want to have take little bit but not big diets of raw salads thinking in your mind like it would be so good for the body. But no it would not be so good for the body according to Ayurveda. According to Ayurveda this is the time that your digestive fire has gone low. So, try to have cooked meals because these cooked meals are easy to digest and it will provide more nutrition as compared to raw salads because these are little bit difficult to digest. Uh, whenever your digestive fire is low you cannot eat so much of uh, these salads or sprouts. Uh, when you are have good digestive fire you please eat, but when you do not have then avoid for 4 5 days. And some fruit if you want to have like if you are so longing for having raw you can have certain fruits. Fruits are good for health, but make sure the fruit should be properly ripe. And among fruits, avoid banana because banana is very co uh, cold in potency and is mucus enhancing. So, uh, in among fruits, avoid banana. Banana would not be so good for it. Uh, even um, kiwi, if you want to eat, it is good because a good source of vitamin C and it enhances immunity. Or all other fruits you can have, but make sure that you remove the peels of all these fruits because peels will be difficult to digest whenever you have influenza or cold flu. Try to have wholesome diet. When I am saying wholesome, like full grain flour 
or whatever grain you are eating it should not be white flour like you know very white flour white flour is not so good for the uh, system it will disturb your digestive fire it is not good for intestines so in ayurveda there is total no no for white flour try to have full grain flour uh, any kind of flour if you want try to have full grain flour because uh, when i'm saying white flour it is uh, it is very fine grain flour it is totally the fine thing without any choker without any uh, grains left so this flour is not so good for health to try to have full grain flour wholesome food so what are the products that you need to avoid that is meat products meat because it is very difficult to digest so meat products are not so good for you if you have any uh, uh, flu like symptoms if you want to have meat you you don't have any other option please take only soup but don't take the uh, actual meat thing because it would be extremely difficult to digest avoid all the dairy products if you are taking any dairy products like milk cheese butter all these things are little bit tricky to digest so whenever you have flu or influenza please try to avoid all the dairy products uh, also some people have a habit of taking nuts in the breakfast because nuts are so good so providing health yeah it's true also but when you have influenza or common cold uh, avoid nuts because nuts are little bit heavy to digest and as i told like your digestive fire don't have much strength whenever you have flu, uh, flu or uh, uh, influenza so try to have uh, try to avoid nuts uh, nuts please avoid for 4 or 5 days because it will disturb your digestive fire and stomach also sweets uh, whenever you have cold or flu try to avoid all sweets because if you are eat more and more sweets it will enhance the kapha dosha and when it will because as we know all the sweet things they enhance the kapha dosha in the body and whenever we have this flu or this influenza already we have mucus there is a tendency to form mucus in the system so we can avoid all the sweet things so that our, our kapha will remain into balance and it will not enhance the mucus in the system so these are the small tips in your daily routine that you can do in addition to that can you do pranayam yes you can do deep breathing practices pranayam nadi shuddhi pranayam these kind of pranayams you can do just breathing practices very gently you breathe in very gently you breathe out and meditation don't do any harsh or very difficult yoga during whenever you have cold flu or influenza make sure that your body should have proper rest uh, gentle practices or exercises you can do but any kind of harsh practice please try to avoid it meditation is good uh, pranayam is extremely good because more oxygen in the system means uh, your lungs will become more energetic more healthy and your vital organs will become more healthy and more oxygen flow in the body means more immunity so you can do deep breathing practices that would be extremely beneficial for you and also some relaxing music or meditation it would be extremely beneficial to re to relieve the stress from the system and less stress means good immunity so you will fight back in a very good way also regarding drinking video there is a uh, there's a link below if you want to know like what kind of waters like how much water we should drink what kind of water we should drink so there is a link below you can click on that link and you can figure out what is the benefits of warm water or lukewarm water it would be so beneficial to know these things uh, in addition to that whenever you have uh, influenza or cold flu try to increase liquid diet in your system like if you are eating rice make sure like rice should be totally uh, totally smashed it they should not be very hard, hard rice whenever you have fever this should be like paste so that it's easy to digest for your system and in those kind of rice you can put little bit of pepper little bit of salt it would be so easy for your system to digest in addition to that what are the things that you can take from ayurveda because people uh, make a mistake like whenever they have influenza or cold flu they they drink coffee after coffee after coffee so please try to avoid coffee because coffee will aggravate your uh, situation it will not be so helpful for these 5 days try to avoid coffee 
because it contains caffeine and it also contains milk so it should not be so good for health. Uh, rather it will enhance your pitta dosha and enhance the influenza. So what you can do you try to have ginger tea. So one piece of ginger just mash it and put it in boiling water, uh, let it boil for 10 minutes and then switch it, uh, switch the burner off, uh, let the temperature to go little bit low and then uh, when the temperature comes as coffee or tea that, that time you can take this ginger tea. It, this ginger has very good anti-inflammatory properties. It has, it is very good for your digestive fire. It will give you very nice feeling when you drink this ginger tea, especially in cold and flu. It would be extremely beneficial. If you want to take some tea, you take this. In addition to that, you can also have tulsi tea. Tulsi is holy basil tea. So how you can make holy basil tea? Take a cup of water, heat it, put two, three leaves of holy basil into it, uh, wait the uh, then boil it till the color of this tea will change and once the color of tea will change then switch off the burner let it uh, let it cool for the room temperature little higher than room temperature like the temperature of tea then you just drink it it will also make you very feel very well it has antiviral and an antibacterial properties and it's very natural it has no side effects so you can make use of it if you have holy basil, so make sure like ginger and holy basil should be of organic origin, then only it will yield best effects. In addition to that, what you can do, you can take uh, one inch of ginger, mash it and then take juice of this ginger, half teaspoon juice of this ginger, half teaspoon honey and uh, very little pinch of pepper into it. You just mix it well and then you just lick it uh, just like this. It will also create a coating in your uh, throat and it will make you feel very better. But make sure you, sh but make sure you should not be diabetic because it definitely if you are diabetic and if you are doing it, it will enhance your diabetes. So it is not for diabetic people, but those who are who don't have diabetes, no sugar uh, sugar levels are normal. These people can try this uh, method also. You can do it after food two three times. It would be so good for your throat and for your chest. And make sure like whenever you go out or you stay in the home, make sure you cover your this area. Whenever you have cold or influenza, make sure your neck should be covered. It should not be open like a fashion or something. Always cover it because its natural heat can be a natural healer. So it, it, it is the very small mistake like uh, people don't cover this area whenever they have cold or flu. Make sure this area should be covered well because this is very weakest portion of our system and uh, if you cover it well it will uh, your body will naturally heal this influenza and it will let you come out from this influenza or cold flu very naturally without any kind of hospital thing so it would be so beneficial for you if you don't want to go to hospital you can try all these things at your home and it always try to have warm freshly cooked meals whenever you have this influenza or flu it would be so beneficial for you because it supplies all the nutrients and make sure like you drink enough water during the day and whenever you feel like drinking something hot you can have ginger tea tulsi tea it would be extremely beneficial for you when I, i'm using terminology tea but actually these are ayurveda decoctions so it would be so helpful for you so that's all for today's video i hope you will like this video and if you are watching me for the first time don't forget to subscribe it there is a subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you stay in tune with our upcoming videos. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you would like to support us, there is a join button near subscription. You can click that join button and you can support us. So with this note, I would like to say stay healthy, stay blessed, take care. And if you have any question regarding your health or anything, you please write down to us. I will try to answer your questions in the best possible way. And if you like my video, please don't forget to share it with your friends so that you and me and all of us can make somebody's health better and we can bring smile on somebody's face. So that's all for today. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Keep smiling. <music>